you sell pussy to do nothing else. The only thing I know how to do is sell pussy. Instead of her trying to go up in there and get the bank shit right, this bitch is on the phone trying to sell some pussy. You can't serve two masters. Either you're going to be out there on the corner selling that coochie or you're going to get your man right so we can go and rob these damn banks. Now you pick one. Can't do it all. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Okay, but CeCe, you get to prison, right? Let's just skip on to prison. You get to prison your first day. You don't, you've heard stories about prison. Oh, Lord. Okay, so you, <laughs> you get to prison. prison How was jail. it? Prison. I'm prison. Not prison. Which one was worse? Prison or jail? Well, I did my shit in both, so it don't yeah, matter. So which one was? It what, wasn't no worse. What did you do in jail? I kicked. Oh, you went back to jail. I kicked it. The fuck? I had my way. Yeah, because you, you were in Chicago, a, right, at that time? No. you t Listen, well, okay, you said when I'm going to jail, when I first heard myself in or when I had to go do my time. When you had to go time. do your time, I was where I went, but she went back to jail, so now no, it's no, like, no, she no, said no, she no, went no, to no, both. No, 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 no. I turned, listen, I initially turned myself in when I, look, when they indicted me, they threw me out there, boom. You know, I'm all on air by the news podcast, all this other stuff. You know, um, I went on the run because I had to get my kids from um, um, Philly to Chicago. You know, and I want to thank CPD because the motherfuckers knew I was on the run at my kids' school because I had to enroll my children in school. But they allowed me to take care of my kids and handle the business I need to handle with my kids without arresting me. Wow. wow. They see you. And, and, and here's some real life shit. Them people, the whole time I was gone, those those officers, you know what I'm saying? Not all of them. Some of them some dickheads. But those certain particular group of officers, they rallied around my children and made sure my children were good. That's mm. big. That's huge, actually. Yeah. So you okay? You in county? How are you? You they spent your money, and so you now you getting ready? You in county now? No, 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 ready, no, no, hold no. On, getting ready to go to prison? How no, no, is that? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a whole listen. They spent the money where I initially got indicted, and I finally I turned myself in. Imagine I went on the run three times. Three times. Oh, now, when listen, you got out, you kept running. No, 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 no. So I get out, I got to bond out. So I'm gonna fight my case from. From the streets, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't spend my money. So what do I do? I go back out there to make to some, try more to make money. some more that's money. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, right. that's how I end up catching the other two cases. Damn. So I end up, um, I end up, um, I just kept going. I end up messing with um, um, checks. I got booked for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, the traveler checks. And I had a good ass run with that. Stinking ass over time accounting. But you weren't uh, smart with it to me because then if you already know that um, they already you are on a bond on one thing, so you know that they already looking for you. So why you felt like you couldn't get caught with the other two? Miss Jamaica, have you ever been locked up? Never in her life. No. Are you from the streets? Never in her life. Don't tell me I wasn't smart to you. <laughs> exactly. Get out of here. My <laughs> God, somebody finally on this interview. Finally check somebody. I don't say nothing. I'm married to her, so I don't say I'm nothing. I said, nigga, watch. I don't even, I, don't, I love this interview. No, because I love this interview. This is a great interview, idiot. No, that's just true. You don't know it. You ain't never been. If, if you, you ever been, been busted for so over you 500 grams of cocaine, and then you gotta go to jail. Have you ever done that? Is she right? I agree with you. Listen, she became the whole comment section. I'm a <laughs> so when I got when I um when I got out on bond, you know what I'm saying. So, but of course, ah, uh, my face is out there. But my face is not out there everywhere, especially if I haven't been there. You know what I'm saying. Um, so when I started messing with the the TCs, which are the traveler checks, I went to Minnesota. I did a run in Minnesota. Now, um, I had some chick <clears throat> come in and school me. Now, when you this is some real shit. When mm -hmm. you ready to do this stuff, if this is what you want to do, and you still you got your hands on everything, you do have people come in to teach you. You know what I'm saying. This is what fucked me up. Let me let me back up a little bit. Um, the initial case, I had became a teacher. So people don't don't realize this. I had became a teacher. I was making so much fucking money that the people who was over me, um, I was making money with them. So they wouldn't give me shit else. So I had to put my money up and get my own stuff. Mm. And I wasn't scared to go up in there and get the money that I was getting. So it's like, okay. And then I was telling them like, yo, I want to do something else. So I'm finna get ready and stop doing this shit. I felt like I had made enough money. Like I said, I was up. I was up. So how I catch the case, they wanted me to teach this bitch who told on me. Okay. 
So that's how that's how I caught that case. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got indicted. The bitch told. Mm. She up in there, she wanna stay on the phone all night and all this. Ugh. Plus, you can't teach no bitch you sell pussy to do nothing else. The only thing that bitch know how to do is sell pussy. Instead of her trying to go up in there and get the bank shit right, this bitch is on the phone trying to sell some pussy. Bitch, you can't serve two masters. The fuck? Either you gonna be out there on the corner selling that coochie, or bitch, you gonna get your man right so we can go and rob these damn banks. Now, you pick one. Can't do it all. She must have must be making more money selling stuff. The bitch, one, the bitch was stupid. <laughs> stupid. Anytime a bitch is super dark with some red hair, sorry, sexy red, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about this bitch over here because she was dumb. You know. But she wasn't she was smart enough to show up in court and start telling. That bitch walked up in the court. <laughs> that bitch walked up, baby. Listen, that bitch walked up in the courtroom, sashay Shante. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The weed. In her head, she had pulled that shit back in the bun, and this bitch had, she looked like a, 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 I don't know what the fuck she looked like, <laughs> but she looked like a bitch who was finna tail. She walked past me and my mama Cody, and she sat down, all prestigious, and, and she you knew it. it. No, I was the fuck, I was, I, was the fuck, I was in jail. Oh, so you weren't in court at that time? I mean, I was in court. But I had been locked up, that, I was out. Yeah. Right, was my no, first thing. Oh, okay. So she came up in there, they had us in some little, this is in Pennsylvania, they got us in some little courtroom or whatever, they got this bitch housed up in there, she came out with a matching suit and shit, looking all prestigious. <laughs> bitch, you a whore. You ain't prestigious, <laughs> whore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bitch, you was out on bond for robbing your mama, like, like she had not out on bond, but the bitch had paroled out for robbing her mama fucking pop. Shops, that's why the bitch told. Like, bitch, you, that's nothing. You that's ain't even see your fucking her. kids, whore. I can't stand that so bitch. So, how did she tell her? She pointed she, at The you. bitch pointed like this. <laughs> you did. The bitch pointed like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How oh, graceful and shit. I couldn't believe it. I was sitting there. Man, you, I had weight on me. I had dropped so much fucking weight because I was stressed the fuck out. <laughs> I've never been through this before. You know what I'm saying? Like, people can tell you whatever they want, but if you're not going through it, you don't understand. You, don't know. you just don't know. You know? She walked out there, shoulders back, look like she came from the ballet and she was a fucking ballerina. And that bitch sat down. She sat down next to me across from my Cody. He kicking me under the table. And I'm looking at this bitch out of the corner of my eye. My lawyer told me, don't look at that lady. She's going to say, you trying to intimidate her. Because <laughs> I want to put these paws on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, the bitch pointed like this and pointed like this, pointed at me and my Cody. Damn, so... Ain't no, I, ain't no getting out of this. So you end up at this point now, and I want to get to where, okay, I'm in the county. I know I'm about to go to j prison. How, what was your, how was you preparing yourself to go to prison and you had never been there before? Um, well, I went to, uh, God bless me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, listen, people say jail and prison is a curse and you fucked up. No, that's where I was supposed to be at in life. You know, I learned so much stuff. And believe it or not, I was covered the whole way around. Mm. I My whole beat, I did not have a hard beat. If anything came at me hard, it was because of me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.